Hello everybody! Welcome to the Mr. Ben Show and welcome to The Last of Us Part 2 State of Play PS4 reaction. This isn't the first time we've seen Last of Us 2, of course. PlayStation has had events in the past where they've showed what Last of Us 2 plays like and everything like that. This is a story state of play is what they said previously. I mean, we got a lot, a little bit of story, not a lot of story, but a little bit, little tiny bit of story of setting the mood, I guess, in the last event that they put on for Last of Us 2. Not the last state of play, I guess. The last state of play, they just showed, like, a little bit of... They put... They had a little story trailer in there, but it, it didn't explain a lot. But if you don't want to get spoiled on The Last of Us Part 2, like, I don't. Uh, hopefully this doesn't spoil much. I wouldn't think Naughty Dog would do that. Uh, but people in the comments might. I hope they won't. Please don't. But we'll be playing this soon, so it'll be cool to see what it's like. It says that the video will premiere in two minutes or six seconds now. But usually there's a, a buffer window with these things. Ghost of Tsushima was like... Uh, I thought it was like five minutes, maybe? Maybe ten minutes? I hope we don't have to wait that long. Anyways, other than that, later on the channel, I, I didn't put out a video before this since the last video the which came out not last night but the night before i have another video that i did record that that is coming out but it'll come out after i guess it's bloodborne part 10 and you guys aren't super into final fantasy it seems like not like you guys hate it but like not the the views aren't the same you know but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get through it eventually but i did pick up man eater so I think we're gonna we're gonna start this in the next day or so. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's still sealed. We'll open it in the episode. So keep tuned for that. Stay in tune. Keep tuned. Keep tuned for that. The tension's real, dude. I think they only said it was gonna be like eight minutes. Like it's not gonna be super long. It's uh, less than half the time at the Ghost of Tsushima thing. So, who knows? This will probably just be like the last E3 trailer, which was like maybe 10 minutes or 12 minutes. But it could be an actual deep dive with narration, like the Ghost of Tsushima thing. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. Other than we're about to see a beautiful game that comes out very soon. Oh, two minutes. We got a two minute buffer, but I'll full screen it and we will clap ahead. All right. Let's get into this. Turn on the PlayStation. Oh, it's muted. My bad. I didn't. I didn't mean to have it muted. I was like, "Where's the noise?" I know there we you go. wish things were different. It's pretty. I wish things were different. Ellie. They ain't. Do you find it interesting that Please stop. they decided to wait on this and then do the Ghost of Tsushima first? I wonder if that's because of the leaks and stuff. They're like, we need to give this breathing room, like from from the leaks. I'm leaving tomorrow. And, you know, get the leaks out of the. Do this the sport. minds of people for a bit Jackson and then Google. throw the trailer on them. So they just get to get away with this? Show them a new game to get their the other us? game to get excited for. You can't stop this. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Ellie's gonna kick some ass. I really hope you make it. This is supposed to be about hate, right? That's the... They're like, oh, the first one's about love, this one's about hate. I have to finish it. Oh, that looked dope. Oh, that shotgun. Driving seat. 
looks like a fucking fantastic dude. We could have killed the you. The face, the emotion on that. Maybe you should have. I'm Neil Druckmann, vice president of Naughty Dog oh. and the director of The Last of Us Part so Two. So we will get some. We're just a few weeks away from launch on narration. June nineteenth, when the game will finally be in Dude, is that soon? That's the wait has been crazy. long, I'm and so we're extremely grateful pumped, for dude. your patience. Especially now, in the, the midst of these is, unprecedented though, like, I want to play through times. Last of Us because we hope you're all care I of yourself don't remember the back you, half of the game your friends, at all. And your loved ones are doing well. I kind of remember because the ending. Because of these ending. extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together <laughs> in this final stretch and share okay. the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something I different. I want to Something play we've never done before. Maybe I should see how long it is to be and see if we could do that. In a stretch before, Over the next 20 the minutes or so, we're going but to give you an in-depth look of us. into what like, awaits you also, in The Last of Us know? Part 2. I want to get through Last of Us Including new details out. about the gameplay experience Maybe we should and go story. back after. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never-before-seen, lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. And then maybe we'll, like, note it, pick up on things like... That they I don't know what Naughty Dog litters throughout the game because this game's supposed to be bigger in scope I'm as well, to take right? The fireflies That's what they were away. saying. Look at that fucking scenery, dude. They were actually gonna make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. Wyoming. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of one to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? However, this piece <laughs> is short-lived. That was so uncanny. I'm Jackson not even gonna and Ellie lie, those eyes and were insane right moment. there. <laughs> Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside That's world in search of retribution Holy shit. and justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country That's previously so cool. unexplored in The Last of Us. Ooh, the, grass the story spans wind. multiple seasons and climates. Looks so rough. From the snow-capped mountains of Jackson that looks really to the lush good. Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Get it, just don't get too a wide close range to the of exterior grass. exterior and interior environments and for you to navigate and explore. Rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make it's these like environments near. not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're like near, but they turn possible. the lights off. I dig it. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to yeah, climb like, and could jump you dive gaps, on your cars she can the, use ropes in, to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, like that's resources, cool that and side that. narratives. Like if the gap is big enough and shit. I These mean, more this open environments also Give me a new grapple, strategic dude. considerations in combat. <laughs> Make all Whether your games Whether it's to get to jump like, on enemies or bypass I mean, Not all Naughty Dog's games, but all PlayStation's games. Ghost of Tsushima has a grapple Last of Us Part 2 features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Ellie now and Last of Us. will allow <laughs> Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate them. Oh, that's cool. However, the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting oh, well, as it is dead. Dude, there is going to be the alligators path to those the who rivers have her, she must face of the, the street many rivers. Of this unknown city. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. In the wake of the pandemic and, and the fall dogs. of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a mm -hmm. war zone. Very Where two warring dogs. factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. 
The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well equipped I'd imagine with weapons that's not they the stole from the army. The they occupy much of the city, this imprisoning and killing trespassers like on site. The slicing of the stomachs and shit then. So it seemed more like a this, right? On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called yeah. the Seraphites, or Scars. Yeah, because defined by the self-inflicted hanging deep up by the stomachs that they bear like, across their faces, sacrificing them and shit. It like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic, religious. And territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Heal her Clip her wings. <laughs> Wait on that reaction. I promise this isn't delayed. <laughs> but beyond this conflict among survivors, I remember the that. threat that originally brought the world to its so knees gnarly too. is very the much crunch present. And when Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. Oh, he's a big boy. There are the recently infected he's so runners, squishy looking. but more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part 2 introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustule. Oh, Upon nasty. getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore That's cloud so cool. that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. I love all this. Overcoming these threats to, like, will require careful consideration of how you approach like every combat even more encounter, and how you leverage elements and skills, and even equipment, and the environment. More to your and bodies have rotted even more of the dead and shit. Like there's decay. The WLF patrol the streets really of Seattle cool. with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you. Even while I mean, not that there wasn't in the first game either. They can pick up your scent like, and alert their you handlers. You can tell to your everything's presence. more weathered. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving fight. and cause distractions to avoid detection. Just pelt the bottle. Twenty-five years after the Buckle. pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. Don't do that if enemies in real get life. Close Don't throw bottles discover at dogs even in real life. Angry really video game dogs. Running you can away throw bottles at. That's fine. <laughs> You can also break class or crawl through tight I don't, spaces I don't support to that find new life. paths or areas <laughs> to evade or take on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and re-establish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's totally more about agile playing this all than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with Ooh. different weapons and mastering Gonna give the timing me a of dodges Hell will yeah. prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. That's sick. You can use throwable items Take or well-placed shots to damage. stun enemies before dealing a killing blow. <laughs> or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. A lot of talk. Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Not, not from Allies Neil Druckmann. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the environments, the characters, enemies, like, and meaningfully as fighting in combat encounters. I mean, it's cool. But I wonder if I'll get old, like, shit will get recycled too much. Probably not. Who knows? Uncharted did the same thing, you know. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. Oh, like leading them into the clickers and you shit. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Dope. Flee as they fight, or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. 
I mean, it's like the Days Gone thing. They showed that in Days Gone. I was super pumped about that, too. Like, this isn't going to be, like, full-out hordes and shit. I don't know. Clickers have so much more of a Our goal punch is to create than, like, a normal attention. zombie, though. Coupled with deep systems that give you Maybe greater control like a and influence over your journey. As not you play, a, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training Days manuals scattered throughout things. the environment and Some scavenging really from like gun. I just These skills and upgrade manuals it. cater to a variety of play I, styles, I and cool the choices you make will create Anyways, your own distinct experience. That's too. <laughs> we also wanted to extend that agency and personalization that's to your weapons through our new workbench system. Scavenge for parts to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your character. That workbench looks great. <laughs> As, as a work survival should, will also you know. require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items like proximity mines explosive arrows pistol suppressors and more cool going sam fisher in it sam fisher slash macgyver All of these like gameplay systems temple, are meant to immerse the, you in the, the world and people, make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional The lady journey. on the wall looked like the lady from the other wall. Fireflies. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface uh, of what Jack it's like to play. Jack and Dexter 2 is pretty large, two. man. <laughs> we can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until cool. then, here's an extended sequence of never before seen gameplay. Oh. Enjoy. Dope. Even more. One more thing. I just love the scenery, you know? Like the woods and shit. So peaceful. So quiet. It's nothing but your movement. That's all you can hear. Did you find her yet? Shit. Until something you hear out of the distance and you're like, oh shit. Where is it? Escape. The fuck are they talking Whether about? Whether that be, you know, a squirrel or religious zealots. Doing some swimming. No swimming in Jack and Daxter too. <laughs> oh, we gotta go from out of the water and shit. It's that predator that did that. Never seen predator. <laughs> People would be like, oh, you never seen Predator, dude? No. I do have the game, though. You can play that. Don't make Are you gonna do it? Out. Hands up. Is that PSP, dude? Dude, is that fucking PSP? Or is it a Vita? That's totally a Vita, isn't it? She's somewhere in there. Sick. Get fucked. Fuck. That was dumb. Now oh, she's playing Hotline Miami. Well, that's knock knock or whatever. Play that shit in my car. <laughs> Away. Word is we're almost wrapped up. Good. I got my girl waiting for him for five. You shit me. 
They put you with Joe again? Hey, we get the job done. I bet you do. Well, this is not fair. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that in mind. Fuck. Sounds like scars. Oh, is this like a huge open arena? Hope that's our guys executing those freaks. Hey. Did you hear about all getting called up to the fob? Be like 30 dudes in here. Wants us to retake all of downtown. I heard Top might take the fight then. Oh, no way. There's one. Not Let's count them. Down last time. One. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. That's what I heard. before they notice how many come after them though you don't want it to be like oh a grand theft auto five star situation you know fucking tanks and shit showing up no but like a bunch of dudes just ganging up like the hunt is cool though Throwing battles at dogs. She's scared, so like, is she gonna like, run away? Is that what she's gonna try to do? I can hear, like... Wherever she may be, there she is. That, that's where I was coming from. I'm, can't run away now. <laughs> Is that her breathing? I guess that makes sense. Just like that. Damn. So like aim assist on? Like in real life, you'd be like, fuck! <laughs> Where's the head? Shit. I'll go check it out. I got you covered. Holy shit. Look like shit. when the arrow Over hit here. a huge ball spot and his head appeared. Or maybe the ball spot was there just because he, he had a hat on. I don't know. It was really weird. Spike bat is fucking. I found her! Metal as fuck. Damn. Oh, I, I stopped counting. <laughs> My bad. I said I was gonna count. This, this is cool. But what is our? What are we? Why are we? Here. What are we looking for? That's what I want to know, you know. All the bugs. That you, Nora? Is that, is that our friend, or...? You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this... I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Is that Nora! Her? I'm not going down for her, man. Did she, like... Is she a rat? <clears throat> I 
No. No. That's a huge reveal or so. Spoiler. I guess. Who's Nora? Who the fuck is Nora? Don't scream. Put that shit down. Is that her, the friend? You remember me? No. Yeah. You remember me. I don't remember. Dude, I'm so excited. We will remember. <laughs> Stay to play. Cool. That's it. Just, you know, snap it back. So, I mean, cool. <laughs> It looks gorgeous. I'm really excited. Like I said, I don't remember it most, if not at least half of what happened in the last game. Like the whole back half. But I don't know, it's, just, it's been so long. Because that was like, what, 2013 or something like that? I didn't play the remaster ever. <laughs> it was forever ago. But yeah, we're going to be playing Last of Us Part 2 soon. So there's not really much to say other than I'm excited and we'll be we'll be able to we'll be there soon you know it feels so brutal it's so dope that bat was so sick i can't wait to just smack dudes with that shit <laughs> but yeah anyways guys with that being said it's been fun it's been real peace out cub scouts